This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Hello, everybody. Welcome here to the Dice Running Network once again, and we are back here in the John and Johnny Phelps Gymnasium in the St. Francis Panthers, trying to get their record at 28 and 4, and they're going up against the Gilman Greyhounds' record of 7 and 16. Jordan Toes gets it going. St. Francis had senior night last night, beat Loria by 10, 54 to 44. Second game of three days for the home Panthers. Jordan Toes takes it all away. Malik Mazoy bringing it out for Gilman, the Greyhounds. This year has been up and down. That jumper did not go. Well, nice uh, flighting offense rebound by Foster. Back to Missouri for three. That one tipped and missed. Murphy grabs a rebound there. And Rashia Jones brings it up to the ace. The ace pulls up. And it will not go. Back out of bounds over to Gilman. Greyhounds had a tough loss last night at Boys Latin. Had him and lost by two. As the new polls be coming out next week. Spec Patterson and that ball was an unforced turnover and it's going back to St. Francis. 7.06 here in the first. And a good one. Hopefully we have here. This is a makeup game from a week ago, as it was an original homecoming game for St. Francis. And Sai slams it down by Mr. West. We will have homecoming for you and bring it to you on Monday here on the Dice Running Network. A twin bell. As that one misses there for the Greyhounds by Wilborn. Back the other way, Jordan Toes pulls up. And that one tipped and missed. And the offensive rebound over to Missouri. Missouri the sophomore. You see his body still in the development stage. Double teamed by Weston Baldwin. Cuts it back over and then swings it. That's a wide open three. That one tipped and missed. And for Foster and the Greyhounds, the three ball has not helped them so far. And they are going. Murphy inside, kicks it back over to West. West pulls back. 20 on the shot clock. 6.05 in the first. Screen, Isaiah Jones. West pulls up and hits it. Half court offense at its best by St. Francis. 6 0 in the first. Get inside. That's the only hope. That's the only hope. So just keep it close. Yeah. When I see him in the folly, man, so much confidence. Chase G trying to throw it out of here. So we're back to game action here. I'll start hitting you on this recording. Saturday afternoon, Foster back over inside, and that's what the doctor ordered. Dan oh, Hines nice. puts the two in for Gilman. 6 2 game. Get the first field goal for the Greyhounds in. Crossover, the ace. Rice Jones fakes, pulls up long distance, two and one. Nice confidence by the senior going to Chicago State. Coming up this time next year, we'll be seeing him on some college hoops. Jones at the line, shooting at and one. First one. The and one, that is, didn't go in. So up the court. Pulls up. Basket was knocked out. Fouls before the shot. Number 20, Jamal West. Went for inbound and pick City by the ace. And here comes Toes. All the way. Missed it. Murphy got the roll. 10 2 game here for St. Francis. 
Fakes it. Missouri off the glass and in. 10-4 game. Yeah, for the Panthers, which we will expect to be ranked as West. That one went out of bounds. Back over to Gilman. Spack St. Francis, they went today and tomorrow against Pilate. Spack them to be ranked in the top three in the uh, local polls here coming up for the next week. Swings it back over. Inside, kicks it. Missouri from long distance and he hits. Long distance two. And the sophomore has four to six points for Gilman. It's a 10-6 game right now. The ace drives and lays it in. Back over, swings, fakes. Attacking inside and a foul. Foster to Junior. At the line. Jordan Foster, shooting two. Yeah, one of my partners off air. Gilman's one best chance would be to take this game inside, and they have done a better job of it since the timeout. Second shot in there. We got a four point game. Second game of three days for St. Francis. There's the ace with the screen. Oh, nice pass! Slams it home and delivers to Mo West! Oh, that was great. Turnover City. And St. Francis gets the unforced turnover in their favor. Please play something here left in the first again. Makeup days have uh, piled up the schedule for a lot of teams in the area. A lot of back to back to backs, a lot of three out of four day type of deals. West escapes. Oh man, does it again. The junior game getting better and better every game with the Panthers. And there's a 16 8 affair, eight point lead. Foster. Drives, put it on the deck, and a travel. Panthers <laughs> gets it back. 314 here left in the first. Well, we know it's a good game. Let me Adam is in the house. We know he'll be here tomorrow as well in all likelihood. As Ace pulls for three. Tipped and missed. Rebound over to Foster of the Greyhounds. Pick City by the Ace. And ball handling skills continue to get strong. Oh, spin out on him. And the ball going back to Gilman. Back on number 23, Jordan Tolles. Greyhounds basketball. Eight point advantage still. 13th foul, by the way, against the Panthers. Man. Only been one so far on Gill. Rucker. The senior campaign. Rucker drive, pulls up. It hits! Over, Isaiah Jones. Ace to Jones. And a foul. Coming up to shoot two. Foul problem number 11, Malik Missouri. Rajia Jones. Sure, Lane looking to come in the game for the Greyhounds. First shot here. Goes in. Check out the Flex Zone's newest show, Goofy Central. Going at you with episodes on Facebook Live and on YouTube.
both the flex zone on both platforms. Then line between Goofy and Great. Make sure you're not on the wrong side of it. Goofy Central coming at you. 18-10 affair now for St. Francis. Double team again. Swings it. Ruckers shoot it. That one spinned out. Rebound over to Toes. Toes bringing it up. Kicks it back over. That's a three. That one front end short. There by Roger Jones. Spin move. And that's a walk. Lane travel. Jones will inbound it to the ace. Just senior day last night, homecoming. Tomorrow, senior day for the women. And tomorrow, we'll we have both women and boys St. Francis games for you. You're going to die for another lot. Or the Panthers coming your way and never wrong with that. That's a turnover. Mazzoi up the Rutgers. Inside. Hard. Didn't get it. The ace. And Rutgers went down hard. Very hard. Dip behind. Slams it down in the middle. Oh, man. Come on, West with 10. But right now, the, the concern is going to go to Jalen Rucker, the senior. He went down on his head. We're going to have injury time out here. Jalen looks all right, got up on his own power. That's what we do want. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. well, Jamal West so far is having a dominant first quarter for the Panthers. Improving every game he has been in with St. Francis, and it's been pretty good, folks, I tell you. Incredible to see in person. 131 left in this first. 10 point lead for the Panthers. Turned it over. West again. Back to the ace this time. For three. Hits it. Oh, man. 23 10 game. As the air goes over to Missouri. Kicks it back. Missouri fakes. Pulls up this time. And he's shooting three. Foul number 13, Jason Murphy. My apologies, be shooting two, long distance two, but four, four feet was on the line. Missouri, shooting two. Right, for the Greyhounds, haven't been the last transfers leaving out. And still have a young team trying to improve on it. First shot, in there. Second shot. In and out. Rebound. Over the west. And then back to the ace. We're down to seconds here in the corner. 12 point advantage so far. Toes. Spin move. And made him travel. Traveling ball. Forty-five seconds, twenty-three eleven event. Swings it back. <coughs> Drive. Got it in there. Christian Winborn with the two. Touch the lead to ten. Shot clock is off here in the first. Jones steps, shooting two. So a two shot foul. Foul call number 15, Christian Whitmore. 
Rajinger Jones, shooting two. St. Francis Gym tonight will be, uh, as we're taping this, it'll be already over when we see it. But the Baltimore Hawks having a magnificent season. We did them open tonight here on the Dice Running Network. And they're taking on their cousins, the DMV Warriors. And that definitely should be an interesting one there. As the ABA season rolls on, hoping to get one more ABA game in this year, hoping. Second shot here. Spins it. 16.1 left. See what Gilman can do. Greyhounds this afternoon, by the way. It's in that gold blue jersey. Nice defense by the ace. Oh, oh, what a dribble. Ball went from beyond the half court line. That was close. That was close. After one, 25 13 game for St. Francis. Which has Clinch. Wins coming up. They will clinch the MIA top seed in the A conference for the postseason coming up. We will have the finals for you two weeks from Sunday, from today, right here on the Dice Money Network. We'll bring it to you on that Monday. Controlling the pace of the game. Keep it up. You good? Mm -hmm. Second quarter about to get going here. Back to game action. Gilman. And lost a close one. And their last one. Rutgers back in the game. He's trying to float it over. It's going to stay with uh, the Greyhounds. 29 seconds left on the shot. Greyhounds basketball. And again, West trying to get his hands on it. Hi. Brought there by Franks. Rutgers, floater, spin down on him. And it's going back to St. Francis. Basketball. Alexander. No to the ace. Inside! Reversal goes in for West. West, I believe, with 12 of the 27 points you see on the board here for St. Francis. Drive by Rutgers. Got it in there. The ace swings it. Jumper. Airmail. Missouri stepped out. And boy, he stepped out. So substitutions coming in for both sides. Stanton swings it over. Alexander, that's a three. That one's been down. Offensive rebound to West. Stanton, Alexander. Screen from Bisbee. That's long distance, tipped and missed. I go over to Gilman. Rucker. And he double jumped. Offensive foul, number three. Offensive foul. Push Both teams got four Tester fouls each. Basketball. Alexander. West. Back over. Alexander. Pulls. Swings. Shoots. 
Ah, spin down. Nice rebound there by Foster. Foster back. Smith swings it back over. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. Rebound to West. West swings it to Alexander now. Both teams has only scored two points each in the quarter. Rusby, stand for three. That one front end miss. And St. Francis, buying, buying some time. Rucker, inside, missed it high. Offensive rebound, Smith from downtown. We know he can hit it, and he does there. Seen it like that in the summertime grind league. St. Francis and Gilman had the match of the regular season in the summertime grind. Swings. Alexander, 10 on the shot clock. Alexander, putting it on. Didn't get it. And Gilman gets the rebound there. Up the court to Smith. Smith lays it in. Seven point game all of a sudden. And I think the starters of St. Francis will be getting back in this game shortly. that drink so well, man. <laughs> time out here. Gilman has uh, made a run, gotten his baby within seven. There it is. John and Johnny Phelps Gymnasium. Homecoming back here tomorrow on the Diasporting Network. It'll be on Sunday. Uh, you'll see it on Monday, Twin Bill, girls action, and boys action coming your way. It should be a good one. No question about it. Looking. Turns it over again. Alexander. Jones. Busby. Got it in there. Busby. Lead back to nine. Rucker. These two teams met a couple weeks ago. Close game. Up on Northern Parkway. St. Francis is able to take care of business. Newton Gilman. And they had that long layoff after that, man. Since then, the game's up and rolling on. And you've seen the big win they had against Boys Latin here on the Dice Network. That's the A downtown. That one will go out of bounds back to St. Francis. basketball. Brown over to Alexander. Swings it back. Swings it against Rashid Jones. Floater in there. Rashid Jones. 31 20. Inside. Blocked away. Smith in the corner for three. That was all a rainbow. Rebound. Oh, I had to steal. I like. Toes. Him back, no call. Smith tried to steal it, out of bounds. Table St. Francis, 26 seconds on the game, on the shot clock. Give me 3.04 left in the game. Jones, pull out. 
Two shots. 15 foul against the Greyhounds. Right here. Right here. Right here. February Jones. run to the playoffs. And for Gilman, they need every game and maybe a little help. But they will get Glendon Country twice in their final games. Second shot is in. 33-20. St. Francis do play Pilate in the homecoming game tomorrow. That will help Gilman. But again, they need to win out to get the date with Boys Latin on the black side of things. Red Conference games in out inside. And Wimborne is shooting a pair. Fifteen foul against St. Francis. Christian Wimborne shooting two. First shot in there. Alexander now. Off the screen, back over to the ace. He pulls up for three. Did not go. Ball back to uh, Gilman. Eleven point lead, 33-22. And this one, they're looking for the pick. That's a three. Hits it on that. Foster and Rhythm cuts the lead back to single digits, an eight point game. Jones. Alexander wide open. Hits it. Actually, my body, that was Busby with the three. Three six twenty five, one forty two, 142, and counting left there on the first half. Winborn. Winborn with a lane, and he got it in. 36 27, and uh, I think again, maybe. Gilman is still hanging. Rashid Jones almost had an unforced turnover. He was able to get it back. Pulls up. That one didn't go. Rebound to Rucker. Rucker pulls up. Coast to coast. That one's high and didn't go. Rebound over to Alexander. Alexander. And he carried him. Basketball. One of five here left in the first half. Back over. Look at the Foster. Drive the Missouri. Got it in there. Missouri. Long arms there by the sophomore. Down the seconds here in the first half. We got a six. We got a five-point game, excuse me. My palms a seven-point advantage. 36-29. Jordan Toes. Screen by Montague. Missouri Jones again. Screen again by Montague. Thought he was looking for a pick and roll. There go Montague. Long distance, no good. And a foul. 
Yeah, against St. Francis, that's a 16 foul against them. Not an the issue, but if one more happens, but a half is done, it'll be a one and Basketball. And we've got 14.3 seconds here left in the half. So let's see what happens. 12, 10, Winborn. Double team puts it out to Missouri. Missouri 6 5. Winborn in the corner. That one's spinned out. The ace up in the air to toes. Toes at the buzzer. No good. And we are at the half 36 29. St. Francis over a game Gilman team. And as they say, nothing's easy in the MIAA. And you're seeing that reason now. Back with the second half here on the Dinosaur Network coming up. Stay tuned. Second half about to get going here, and uh, St. Francis up 36-29 here in the John and Johnny Phelps Gymnasium here in this matchup in the Red Conference. Red Conference games the rest of the way for the Panthers, and then of course the big boy Baltimore Catholic League matchup as the ball was inbounded. Not everything reset first, and that's what we do. Here's Mount St. Joe's trying to avenge their only conference loss. This time it was down in Irvin at Mount St. Joe's place. Murphy and then the Toes, little bit of touch and go, as I said. Toes inside to Murphy. Murphy going inside, couldn't get the finish. Ace fighting for the rebound. And like a foul there. And it is. First team foul against uh, Gilman here in the second half. Foul call on number 35, Roman Hines. Panthers basketball. Inbounds. West. Switches over to the ace. Toes on downtown. Tipped and missed. Had eight three-pointers against uh, Boys Latin. Matching that mentality. Rucker. Puts it in on two defenders. We got a five point game. <coughs> Excuse me. The ace here. Off the screen. Foul call to number 35, Roman Hines. Second team foul against the Greyhounds. St. Francis gets it back. Full shot clock. And 59 seconds have went by the wayside here. And the, third. the ace got stripped from under by Rucker. A senior move by a senior. Inside the layup is good and one. We got a three-point game. When Boyan with it. That part number one, Adrian Ball. Christian Wimble, she won. Got it. 36-34. Two point game. Toes. Brings it up. I go to the ace. Rashid Jones. Toes. West. Back over the toes. Crossover. Foul is called. Thirteen foul already against Jordan Foster. Foster with the foul call. Panthers basketball. Yes. Off the screen. Got Missouri on. Toes inside the West. At the hole. West for three. That one didn't go. Up to Missouri to rebound. Trying to tie it up with a two. And that one did not go. Rebound to West. Back up the court to Jones. Tapped away. Turned over. Foster. Got it back off the tip. And side. Rucker. Behind the back pass. The Foster was blocked. And then West grabbed. And the jump ball is called. Ball should stay with Rucker. To Rucker and Gilman. And it will. 5.55 left in the third. 
Timeout. Time out by St. Francis and for Athletic Director Nicholas Miles, coach here. That was, I think, a good one. the game action as uh, Rucker inbounds in Missouri balls under the legs turned over by West turn on picked up by West kicking the ace coast to coast lays it in there's a lead back to four as uh, Gilman has not led in the game. And they're trying to get that. Rucker from downtown. Tipped and miss. That ball. Oh, I think St. Francis caught a break there. And then the ball back to the Panthers. Five nineteen and count. West inside, front end miss, Murphy, counted it one. Spare basket, Jason Murphy. Foul call number five, Jordan Foster. Jason Murphy, shooting one. Murphy shooting the end one. That one goes. Swings it back over. Missouri had it on the deck. Foster picked it up. Foster against West. Off the glass and in that one. And then Gilman hanging in there. And hung in there last night, came up two points short. It's a boys Latin on Friday night. That one goes. 41-37 game. Four point advantage. The ace brings it up here. Saturday afternoon. Taping. Sunday night you're going to see it. Rashid Jones missed the three. Foster with the rebound, back to Rucker. Rucker kept the ball. Back over, tapped it out of bounds. Francis wasn't able to hang on. St. Francis gets the ball back. Into to the ace here. 41-37 game. All right, game basketball, just never know what game would be close. Just never know. I said Jones, he lost it, Frank. Tried to save it. Jones got it back. Tried to take advantage of the two. It's going to stay with St. Francis. Four eight left in this third quarter. Thanks back over to the ace. Baldwin pulls up, spend out. Rebound over to Foster. Foster lost it. West got it for St. Francis. Jones. Pull up jumper. Oh, didn't go. Offensive rebound. Toes, swings. Murphy throws it down in the middle. 37 Gilman. On. Not letting them go down. That's a three from Rucker. Hits it all net. Timeout by Gilman. Wow. 
The game action here. St. Francis gets it back here. Ace gets it up to Alexander. Jones for three. That one didn't go. Out of bounds. Wow. Thought that was off of uh, Gilman. That might have been a makeup call from the other end a couple of possessions ago. So, Rucker, tied with a three. He just hit a long distance one. Foster, and so it ties the game at 43. Wow. And the shot's starting to fall for Gilman. 242 left. Alexander in the quarter, excuse me, not in the game. Oh, that was a dangerous pass, backcourt. Violation. Wow. Got to give Coach Barts and staff company. Not intimidated by coming here on the road after a tough night loss against Boys Latin. Senior Rucker showing a lot of hard and poise here for the lead. That one didn't go. Alexander got it back. The ace bringing it up. Back to West. Slams it down. And the lead. Back to St. Francis by two, 45-43. Tried to steal it. Ace from Foster. Foster pulls back. Back over to Missouri. Missouri pulls up. He got plastic blocked by Jordan Toes. Toes up the court. Alexander. Back over to Toes. He holds. Alexander gets it. What do they want to do? Court vision. Feels he can take it. Not, maybe not the best decision from the freshman. Missouri. Back over to Foster. Nice defense now by the Panthers. Really bringing the intensity on that end. Foster all the way to the basket. He's shooting two. Foul problem number 20, Jamal West. Jordan Foster, shooting two. First shot didn't go. Second shot here. Get this game within one for Foster. He does it. So we got a one point game, 123 left here in the third. TSN February runs some playoffs action. Picked. Turned over Wilson. Going all the way. Didn't go. Tap back. Smith. Back to Wilson. Shot clock at 23. Smith, floater, no good, Missouri, rebound, he's shooting two. 53.9 left, Murphy coming back in the game. Malik, Missouri, shooting two. First shot, ah, oh, in and out. Second shot for the tie. To tie this game at 45. 
I don't think a lot of people would have thought it was a full court is about to be on the doorstep. And we are tired for the third time in the quarter at 45. And Wilson tried to intercept. It's going to stay with St. Francis. Fifty seconds here in the third. And one in the college world they would call it an upset alert going on right now. Alexander back to Jones. The ace flicks it over to the freshman. Murphy inside. He's shooting two. 28.9 left here in the quarter. So we got a full quarter to go here. Jason Murphy shooting two. Murphy. Now Delon shooting a pair. First shot is in there. The lead back to the Panthers. Substitutions back in the game. One point lead here. Second shot. Didn't go. Rebound to Foster. Back to Rucker. Foster again. Foster drives. And the lead for the first time for Gilman. 47 46. We're down to 17 seconds left. The ace. Back over to Rasha Jones. Deep defensive foul against Foster. He was mismatched. 16 foul. Ten point five left. St. Francis trying to get a shot here. Jones looking to inbound. Over to the ace. Baldwin drives. Didn't get it. Three, two. Alexander throws it up. Oh, big up. Not there. Got to give the Greyhounds a lot of heart and credit here. They are. Uh, up by one after three, and I think you don't want to turn off this fourth quarter because we might have something going on in this one. But next time we'll come at you, Twin Bell, homecoming at St. Francis right back here on Monday here on the Dive Swing Network, all special spotting girls against St. Francis girls matchup. We was hoping to give it to you down in Annapolis, but uh, at that night we had Glendon Country, Annapolis Area Christian on the boys' side. Oh, we're going to bring some girls action coming your way on that one to start. And then a rematch of a game we had on Dr. King's birthday. St. Francis and uh, St. Francis Pilate. Pilate comes up to town. Huge match in the red for Pilate trying to hang on here to get that fourth playoff spot. Right now, Glenn and Country beat them the other night. And it's, and it's a dog fight for that fourth spot. Gilman's a part of that race as well. So coming at you with a twin bill. And then weather permitting, hoping to bring you an MIAA B Conference showdown with Archbishop Curley that has turned their season around against St. Paul. St. Paul's has overtook Gustel for the top spot in the B Conference. Weather permitting, of course, hearing that the weather is not promising. The game is already a makeup game from a couple weeks ago as well. So that's our action coming at you to dive swing. We've still got two huge Patterson matchups coming your way as well with Mervo and Lake Clifton, and that's what we're coming in as well during the week. We'll talk about that more in our next time pass. Right now, oh, hits it! That's it, Jones. One point game. Rucker bringing it up. Missouri fakes, pulls up. That one was long. The ace with it from Busby. One point lead for St. Francis. Right here, Jones pulls up. Front end miss. Fighting for the offensive rebound. Ball's on the deck. Under the leg still. Still on the ground. And a timeout by St. Francis. The ace dives on it with a huge bus action save there. Come on down, man. You got time? Team folks, come on down. You got time. I love it. Coming back 
the game action. Might be a lot of the matchup with these two teams in the summertime grind league we had on the Dice Money Network is uh, getting buried in our archives. But uh, what a matchup that was. It's over to the ace. Baldwin. Sends it back over. Ace. Swings it back to Jones. Jones. He is shooting the one and one now. Well, maybe two. Let's see if it's a two shot foul. I think it will be a two shot foul. Two shot foul. First shot in there. Two point lead now. 49-47. We got six, six left in this. Second shot in there. 50-47. Three-point game. Rucker has it. He's hit a couple long distance ones. Foster. Have to watch that pass. Foster pulls up front and miss. Back over the toes. And then over to the ace. The ace brings it up. Jones off the screen. There from West. Murphy. Just Missouri. Oh, and he traveled. Traveling Basketball. Back over to Gilman. 50-47 game. Rucker. Ball batted, turned over. Change was not there. Toes. Go there. 52-47. Rucker. Mr. Tip. The ace gets the rebound. Under the lace. Kick ball. Stand with St. Francis. West to the ace. Jones in the corner for three. Didn't go. Tapped it out. Toes. Pulls up for two. That one didn't go. Offensive rebound. Jones a senior. And this is a seven point lead. Rucker swings it back over. And a foul. 15th foul against the Pack. Winborn over to Missouri. Backed off the glass. Two shots coming up for Hines. Foul from number 20, Jamal West. His fifth personal. Roman Hines shooting two. Ryan shooting the player, two big free throws here. First shot, no good. Second shot is in there, one of two. And a six point advantage here for the Panthers. I see Jones with it. Crossover. Inside. Missed it high. Ball back over. Rucker. He's all alone. Open space. Blocked there. By Jordan Toes. The ace back up the court. 
toes inside. Oh, and one. Got the basket and one. We got an eight point game. Foul call on number five, Jordan Foster. Jordan Toes shooting one. Hits it. Gilman for hard to get a one point lead. They're back down by nine. I don't know if they got enough time left to put up one more fight. Let's see. Foster, he turned it over. Alexander with it now. Pulls back. Now to the ace. Baldwin, Marcia Jones. Back to the ace, fakes it. Pulls up, missed it high. Rebound over to Winborn. Winborn double team. And gives it up to Foster. Double, 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 double. Timeout by Gilman. Four fifteen left in this one. Nine point advantage. Should be found out. I do believe with the technical. His fifth personal. So the referees now getting the cover to explain to the Gilman bench. Fan fair on our end of the court between the two school fan bases. So the ace, I believe, will be shooting two. Hughes and Foster was having a good game, and his day is done. Gilman. 4.15 left. Ace hits the first. Even. Second shot. In there. So both shots go. It's 59 48. St. Francis looking to get that 28th win of the season. Had, we had a shot clock is off on this end. So they're going to restart that. That's what I thought. I thought it looked like it was off on this end. I'll see what happens. There it is. 
little shortage on the wiring. Back out back in. Alexander with it. Play a little bit of keep away. Dish. The ace. Dagger. Lee back to 12. Lee. Lee. Back. 14. That's a foul. That's the one and one. As Missouri be at the line shooting it. Foul call number one, Adrian Baldwin. The lead, Missouri, shooting one and one. It's a one and one ball automatically goes back to St. Francis. Alexander. 338 left in this one. Spin move. Side. Turns it over. Basketball. Rucker. Pull up. Hits it. Lee back down to 12 as Jordan Toes with it. Swings it over. Alexander drives inside. Low pass. Ball stays with the Panthers. Panthers basketball. Alexander over Dorasia Jones. Right over to the ace. Ball went drive, spin out. Whoa, look out. And the foul is called. Murphy shooting two at the line. And Gilman's over the foul limit now. Foul call number three, Jalen Rucker. Jason Murphy shooting two. First shot, no good. No good. Second shot here. In and out. Hind with the rebound. This is still life in the Greyhounds, let's see. Winborn. Missouri got it up off the glass and in. Missouri. Ten point lead as Toes. Pull up. Matt. Toes there. Sense of the shooting range. Wimborne. Missouri. Off the knee. Kickball. Ball will stay with Gilman. 219 left in the basketball. Takes it. That's a three. And didn't go. Toes. Hands up to Rashid Jones. Alexander. Back to the ace. Jones. Moving some clock down. Spin move. Pull up. Front end mess. Offensive rebound. Yes, sir. Got it in. 64 52. The senior getting it done once again. Russia Jones, that. Missouri. Missouri. With Fresso. Couldn't get his body to adjust. Bat in the air. The ace got it. Up the court. It's air time. Flash it home with the exclamation point. 652. I think that'll do it. Gotta give the Greyhounds credit. 
Another fight in him, and it's going to be one on one. That's the back of the line. Brown's had a one point lead coming into the quarter. Since the quarter started, they've been outscored 20 to 5 since then. So, Malik, Missouri, Francis. Boys, back at it again tomorrow against Pilate. We will have it for you in the Dice Sorting Network. Second game of a doubleheader, a St. Francis doubleheader. And girls action first. And senior night. We will go back on our YouTube page and check it out. Second shot goes. Timeout. Timeout. Right, Gilman. 1-11 left in this one. 12-point advantage. And it all looked like the 28th win this season for St. Francis. And like I said, the... Uh, them all. Luke Glendon country and then Mount St. Joe's. So tomorrow's game is St. Francis' last home regular season game. They beat Mount St. Joe's for certain they will have the Red Division title. Guaranteed two home games. For the second, second straight season. Back over the game action here. Stan to Jones. I go to the ace. Inside, Alexander missed the layup. Hines with the rebound. Winborn from way downtown hits it. Christian Winborn. That's the lead to nine. Toes. Layup. Didn't go. And out of bounds. Going to go back to Gilman. Rucker, back over to Winborn, inside of Missouri, back over to Winborn, that's a three, a long distance, two actually, excuse me, no good, shot clock ain't clock, equal, nine point advantage, Gilman again, They're trying to forcibly foul, they do there, and two shots as Alexander will get it, shot on number four, Matt Smith. Two shots here coming. Alexander. Alexander. There's one shot to put this one in the bag and tie it up. And it's tied up. Again, a heart. Felt effort by Gilman. But sadly today will not be enough. Offensive rebound, Stanton. And he traveled out of bounds. Basketball. And Gilman, like you said, game before this one. Had a hard felt two point loss to Boys Latin. What do we have here? And we're going to resub it out. 20.8 left. And homecoming for the St. Francis Academy. Come out. Usually, a lot of people are used to hearing that for football, but. St. Francis originally being a basketball program of high regard before the football came and now that has become a high cop, double jump. Double dribble violation. Greyhounds, the basketball. 5.7 left. 
and Winborn behind his back. Slips, that'll do it. St. Francis 28 and 4. Gilman sadly will go to 7. Final score, 17. Victor, 67 point win. and Greyhounds 57. St. Francis Academy. Now out to 10 points in the quarter. For your support. And we look forward to seeing you. Homecoming. Right here tomorrow. It's coming at you here tonight, really, Network. For St. Francis girls against Office of Sporty. St. Francis Pilate boys against St. Francis Sporty. Double bill. We will see you then here on the Dice Network. And please drop. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?